Hello and welcome to our discussion on accounting and we'll continue our discussion on the cash flow statements and under the cash flow statement the focus of our discussion today is understanding cash from operating activities and that too the focus is on determining the cash from operating activity by using an indirect method but before we get into the cash from operating activities let us understand what is operating activities the operating activities are those transactions and events relating to the production and delivery of goods so therefore any cash generated from these activities will become cash from operations so let us first understand cash from operation in a direct method in case of a direct method for preparing the cash from operation all that we do is reduce or deduct the all payments arising from the operating activities from the receipts from the operating activities the receipts and payments from the operating activities are generally cash sales collections from customers sometime advance uh, ad bonds from the customers and from there you deduct the payments and the payments are cash purchases of revenue goods revenue goods payment to the supplier similarly advances to the suppliers and expenses paid like salary rent etc so the excess of the receipts over the payment is from the operating activities are called cash from operations and from a direct method so direct method actually shows the operating receipts and the operating payments now let us see the indirect method of preparing the indirect method for preparing the cash from operations but before we get into the calculation or determination we should understand what is the intention the purpose of preparing an indirect method the accounting standard 3 in india um, allows a company to prepare cfo by direct or indirect as we have seen here direct shows the receipts minus payment the indirect actually tries to give an answer to this question why is cfo not same as profit not same as profit so indirect method helps us understanding the causes for the difference between the causes for the difference between the cfo and the pat so the question that it tries to answer is why is cfo not same as profit we'll see many companies have huge profit no cfo or huge cfo negative pat to understand that so the cfo is actually not same as pat because of non cash items because of non operating items and because of the credit items non cash items depreciations and amortization non operating items are interest received dividend received interest paid dividend paid dividend paid and some non operating gains and losses like profit on sale of sale of assets etc and credit items are the changes in the debtor or the changes in the creditor okay changes in the creditor changes in the creditors which arises due to the credit purchases or advances to the supplier or maybe credit expenses that means the changes in the outstanding expenses and accrued incomes accrued incomes accrued incomes so therefore therefore the profit is not same as the cash from operation because of non cash items because of non operating items and the credit items 
we can also say that credit items are actually the reflection of change in the working capital. So if we put that in a, f we can put them together. We say that cash from operation is actually PAT profit plus minus the adjustments. The adjustments are for non-operating items, non-cash items and the changes in the working capital. So CFO is not same as profit because of non-operating items, because of non-cash items, because of the working capital. Now let us take an example, a very simple example to understand that. We have this five transactions which shows A started business with cash, purchased goods on credit, paid rent for the year, salary not paid and sold goods for cash. But before we prepare the CFO direct and indirect, let us first complete the financial statement so that you can appreciate the CFOs better. So when you started the business with cash, so therefore in the cash flow statement you have capital 20,000 capital 20,000 and the source is a capital on the balance sheet 20,000 you purchase goods on credit so therefore an asset stock of goods you're purchasing for 25,000 for 25,000 but you're not making any payment so there will be a creditor appearing on the balance sheet as 25,000 you paid rent for the year and rent is an expense okay so rent is an expense so I pay that rent entire 12,000 and rent is a payment and rent is a payment 12,000 let me increase the size here yes rent is salaries is an expense once again but in this case you did not pay the salary 6000 so in the balance in the in the, in the cash flow statement there'll be no salary as a result you'll have outstanding salary outstanding salary of 6000 outstanding salary 6000 then you sold goods so that becomes the sales you sold goods for 50000 and since nothing is okay it's mentioned that is for cash so the entire 50,000 entire 50,000 is a receipt and whenever there is a sales there has to be a corresponding cost of goods sold and the corresponding cost of goods sold is 25,000 so the stock will no more be there on the balance sheet stock is gone so stock has become zero because you purchased 25,000 and you sold 25,000 so all transactions done so the income is only 50,000 expenses 43,000 so there is a profit of 7,000 if no information is given we'll keep the profit in the balance sheet as a retained profit so profit is shown in the as a retained profit the cash inflow during the period is 70 cash outflow is 12 so cash in hand is an asset cash in hand is an asset so 258,000 is a cash in hand so your balance sheet tallied but this cash flow statement shows the receipts minus payment so let us find CFO as we mentioned in a direct method it shows the receipts it shows the receipts the receipts are sales so I got the sales and expenses you only paid rent okay payments you paid rent no other payment so the entire rent is done so therefore your your cash from operation is 38,000 but your profit is 7,000 so why is CFO 38 but the profit is 7 so let us do an indirect method and that will reconcile the profit with cash add non-cash items okay I'll just write down plus non-cash items that is COGS because you have uh, mm, COGS add because we have not paid money for that 25,000 
and uh, you have not paid salary so 6000 so all other items have been paid so CFO indirect in this case indirect in this case is the CFO is different from profit because of the credit purchases because of the credit transaction so if you go back to understanding here so in this example CFO is not same as PAT because of non uh, because of the changes in the working capital non operating and non cash are not there thank you very much